Now then, this is a harvester bar that holds the chainsaw, as you will have seen operating in that, uh, that uh, harvester clearing a wind blow video I did a while ago. I'll put a link at the end of this video to that. Anyway, these take quite a lot of hammer, and this one was bent, and I've straightened it in Uncle Harold's press, which we'll see in a minute. But one of the problems is they get bent here as well, and that one is bent out that way a bit. So in the clamp on the fork, the harvester. It's obviously got stuck or something and it's bent it. Now I don't know whether you can see but if you follow that curve it comes out here whereas that curve comes out about there. So this one is bent that way. Let's just see if we can get a better shot of that. So you see there's a more of a gap there. So this one wants to be pressed that way. So previously what we've ended up doing is cutting the ends off at about six inches away from the nose and grafting a bar with a good nose bearing to a bar with a good mounting plate. But I've come up with something that will probably sort the problem out. So let's just have a look. So what we've got there is a railway shoe and a block of ash and a bit of round bar, which actually it's a bolt in the bottom of the gap there, just to make up the railway shoe because on this end here, the bottom of there is rounded as you can see. So I suppose, you know, if all this works, which it does, I could weld a big lump of flat in there to, um, to sort that out. Um, anyway, let's see how we get on. There's a breeze in the camera, I know, but there you go. So I think I'm going to have to move everything and set everything up. So this is the bent side. One more. Right, let's see how we get on. That's not bad, but not enough. So it really is a guess as to how much to push. Still a bit more. I think we just I need to move that way a bit. There we go. And of course, you've got to hold it rigidly of some form because you don't want this flying out under tension. And also, you don't want to squeeze it too much. I think we'll just go one more. I'm just letting it ease a minute. I mean, we could have 
a really nice press and a an angle plate really heavy duty one a hydraulic press all that and or make a special jig but we don't have all that sort of equipment No, it still wants a bit more. So it takes a lot of force to push it back. So you see the idea. I'll get back to you when this is, uh, is done. Well, that took some doing. It was harder than the last one. I had to put an extra jack in there. But, as we can see down here, it's virtually there. In fact, that's close enough, I think. That one has bent that way, so I'll just have to straighten it by putting on the flat bar with something underneath there and pressing there to bring that back up a bit and that might just close that up even a bit more but I think that's enough so there you go the power of hydraulics if only I had a nicer press hope you find that interesting it's the jig that enabled where are we enabled the bar to stay on its edge and put loads of pressure on there so that was the secret lots of discussion and comments please dead rural repairs catch up with you soon